All right, what's going on, boys and girls? We are here with another video. So let's talk about some video games. Video games are great. Everybody loves them. Um, and we all love developers and publishers for making these great video games. Oh, wait. I spent two and a half years trying to get video game companies to understand that gamers are consumers. These are consumable products that we buy that have limited shelf life. And we consume them in an entertainment format. So these are consumable products. Hence, consumer. Not, you know, wallet, money, wallet, money, wallet, you know. Not that. I spent two and a half years of my life trying to get companies to understand that. And give good examples of what good customer service is. And doing right by your customers. Companies like Stardock, when they screwed up with... Uh, one of their games, uh, CD Projekt Red, In Exile, Obsidian. There are companies that are doing video games the right way for the consumer the right way. And yes, there are ones that are doing it all wrong consistently. I'm looking at you, EA, Ubisoft, Activision. All you guys are doing it wrong. So here's the constructive criticism. This is not death threats. This is not harassment. And I'm going to get into that. We are consumers. This, I'm trying to be above all this, the signal, the noise. I'm trying to be above all the noise. Treat us as consumer. We're not bottomless money pits and wallets. We're not, you know, you yell and scream at us for gamers essentially perceiving you guys as nameless faceless corporations can you really blame them when you treat them as essentially just an open wallet and a hand handing you money and that's the mentality you take now i'm not saying making money is bad money is good <laughs> example it allows me to play video games the problem is is that perception and that's how a lot of consumers feel as gamers you got to remember the generic age for gamers is a lot older now than it used to be. A lot of us are 20 to you know 34 demographic now. So this gets me into the gamers. Yes, microtransactions are bad. Yes, pay to win is bad. Yes, loot crates are shit. I don't care if however Overwatch wants to spin that. $15 map packs are fucking stupid. Nickel and diming the customer is a bad business practice. You have to add value to your product. A lot of these companies do not do that. Very few, in fact, do that. What I will say, though, is voicing your concerns about this is perfectly fine. Having your head impaled up your ass as doing it by sending death threats, not so much. Harassment, develop, you know, harassing developers that are even, not even part of this game that you're bitching and moaning and complaining about. Because I'm going to tell you right now what happens. These harassments, these death threats, and this kind of nonsense that people are fucking... I don't know why do this. There's this thing called signal to noise. The more signal that gets through the fucking noise, that bullshit that you guys are doing, which is the noise, gets back to them. But the second that the noise drowns out the signal, the argument becomes null and void, and they won't fucking listen. It's a novel concept. Now, there are ways to still make a point. You know, as an example, you can always not buy it. You can buy the game, but not the DLCs, et cetera, et cetera. There are other ways. That's voting with your wallet. But there are other creative ways to make a point. This is an example. For those that bought SimCity a few years ago when it came out, I believe there was a physical version. I might be mistaken. If not, what they could have done for the people that, you know, 
that would have legitimate gripes with the game. You know, SimCity is a single player focused experience usually, not the one that they shipped and it didn't work when it shipped. So there are creative ways that you could have made your point. Buy a bunch of copies of said game, physical or otherwise, smash them up and send them to the, you know, EA or, you know, take your pick and be like, just on the note, this is your game currently. You're not being a jackass. Oh, okay, you're being a little bit of a jackass, but you're getting your point across without sending death threats about a fucking entertainment. You can be a good consumer without being a dickhead. So this is where I get confused with this crap because you guys are just like, Get your head out of your ass if you are these gamers that are doing this crap. Because give the rest of us who actually do have legitimate concerns about business practices in the industry a bad name and a bad rap. And when we do voice, when gamers as consumers do voice concerns within the gaming industry, that is where you guys are making the rest of us look bad. And I'm talking gaming as a whole. And you contribute to this like perceived nature of toxic culture and stuff. Newsflash. A lot of us aren't like that. A lot of us just don't speak up. And that's the problem too. Speak up. Don't let this nonsense keep going. Because this is bullshit. So I'm telling the ones that want to complain... By all means, complain constructively. The ones that are troll, essentially being trolls, douchebags, and death threats and harassment, you're supposed to be above the clouds. Don't keep having your head impaled in your ass because apparently you can't see what you're doing to everybody else that does keep their head above the clouds and tries to make points, valid structural points. And developers and publishers, I just got one thing to say to you. Be good to your customers. We're not money, we, we're not just an open wallet that you got, that we can keep, keep handing money to. So, you know, like it or lump it, everybody's got a, everybody's got a horse in this fight. And the only way is conversation and being honest with each other, but you can still be civil and quite frankly, not big heads. But that's just my take. I might be the naive one. I might actually have a little hope for humanity and gamers might be wrong, but that's my take. You guys know what to do. Subscribe. Peace.